Kia ora I have a story I have written and I would like to share it with you all. It's called God's Grace. I hope you enjoy it. I come from a place familiar to most. Empty like a bottle scattered, surrounded by strangers in utter disgrace. Blood dripping from my mother's face. All cause my father had demons he refused to face. By God's grace, I was safe. Policemen came knocking and away my father went. Years of meth charges, the penitentiary become his place. Alone in the world, this young girl walked, but by God's grace, I was safe. I was eight years old when I first stole. No power, no money, no food, and no one near to help. So away we went, a sibling and I, to come home with lollies and all our pants could hold. A family of six huddled together to fight the cold. But our leader had left. She needed her fix. So five remained, from the ages of eight to one, all eating lollies and bubble gum. Hoping morning would come soon, school was our mission. A sibling and I bickered because we both desired to go to school. But I stayed behind to take care of our one-year-old. Morning rose and off they all went. No lunch, no breakfast. The scent of toothpaste wandered as they left. As the door shut, I closed my eyes and wept, calling in my heart, knowing this life wasn't what I wanted. By God's grace, I was comforted. At the age of 10, our family presence extended. Older siblings joined the battle. Teenagers and young, so full of life. The drinking become excessive, the fighting more repetitive. Longer nights with an empty pantry. So away we go again, the sibling and I, with notes of embarrassment to our reputation. Lies on a paper handed to churches and neighbours. Please give my children some food. I'll pay you when I can. The bills are too much this week. I know you'll understand. Don't be dismayed, those who are listening. Our leader was battling her own battles. Yet along the way, she slipped and we paid the price. Quite often this become the notion. Our leader off to work, purchase lunches and leave. An older sister would scrape something together, pregnant at 18, mothering her siblings. We robbed to survive. I'm not proud to say. A lot would say that's a part of the game, but by God's grace, it only brought shame. Don't get me wrong. But the little we had, we cherished the simple. Outdoor fun with the cousins, quite often at Nan's, whom I adore. Took care of all her mokopona when our pillars ran for their fix. There were a few places I called home at that age of 10. School, home, youth, and Nan's. My Nan loved all she raised me for a while, while my pillar conquered her challenges. And by God's grace, I was safe. Then a call came from heaven, saying, daughter, come home. Away my nan went, leaving all but a home. Coldness entered our family, hearts beyond broken. I thought I had lived through the worst, but it had only begun. By God's grace, my nan's battle was won. Life continued on, our father returned. The beatings, the anguish, the isolation with darkness prevailed in our home. A time came and away I went with an auntie whom I adored to go and get lit. Drinking and smoking the herb that, that most love. <laughs> Yet amongst us, there was danger that no one succumbed. Drugged was my drink by a friend of my auntie's. No one believed me. I awoke in a hospital bed, thinking, where am I? Faint lights and strange faces, I couldn't deny. Oh no, was my thought. Mum and Dad warned me. Baba, come straight home. Your auntie won't look after you. They were right. 
In this moment of terror and freedom, one might say, I closed my eyes and everything faded. Images of my loved ones flashed through my mind. I could feel my spirit leaving. This I couldn't deny. I was lifted above my very own flesh. I could hear the heart rate monitor decline. Immediately, doctors came rushing to my aid. I looked around and darkness was everywhere. I grabbed my dear body and said, Lord, I don't want to die. God, please save me. There's more to my life. Boom. In an instant, I took a deep breath. By God's grace, I wasn't put to death. Three blood transfusions later, and days without food, my poor family were worried with dread. A very sweet nurse took care of this broken girl. I remember being so thirsty, and the doctors said no. Water wasn't allowed until they said so. Yet, this 14-year-old, rebellious as ever, drank up some water. The doctors didn't know. God bless their endeavours. My brother and father came as soon as. No gas in the waka, so the bites were their aid. I opened my eyes and joy leapt through my soul. Yet, sorrow dripped through theirs as water leapt out their ducks. Let this be known to all who are listening. God's grace is infinite, but soon it isn't. My Lord Jesus, whom I trust, loved me always before I could thrust his truth and his might toward all sinners. My God is almighty, the ultimate winner. Thank you for listening, those near and far. I pray for you all that you may see the light. On behalf of God almighty, my friend Jesus, and the powerful Holy Spirit, I love you all. Take care and fight the good fight.